Okay, I went a little bit over my time there. I'm guessing I'm on Oregon Avenue here. Yes, I am. I'm closer to the entrance than I'm used to, so I got a little misplaced. And traffic's a little hard to see, but not impossible to overcome. Now, over in this area, in the winter, I've seen, literally, I've seen deer walking down Oregon Avenue there. Only once and in several trips, but I did see that once. A fellow family of deer. Uh, in this area, what do we got? I haven't really been over here. This ain't too far from where I live. It looks like some kind of a uh, playing field. Fenced off. <laughs> well, a little baseball field there, I guess. Perhaps, albeit inconveniently. Now, I wonder if this little area is kind of trapped here, kind of stuck, and you're going to wake your way out, which would mean this is a little bit of, a little bit of suburban pocket. There is a little high school. Maybe I can drive down near that. If it's a high school or elementary, I'm not sure. Again, lots of trucks. There's just enough traffic so you know the place isn't dead, but not enough to annoy you. Yeah. Get in the way. This looks this must be some kind of elementary school here. I hopefully I can get the name of it while I drive by instead of some kind of Joseph Conger School, it says in Easton Brick. Fall leaves on the ground. During the winter, they have a winter light show. Yeah, at one point, it was up over on the other side of 97. And some park, I gather. I forgot the name of that park. It's just right there on, on 6th. No, on Oregon, on the other side of Oregon, the name changes, but it's the same road that Oregon lies on. I forgot the name of it. And I, we're not past the freeway yet. The freeway must be right up there. To make a left. Okay, don't be overcautious. Okay, good. All right, so back over this way. And you can see, you know, this is isn't a bad ride. This isn't the greatest place in the world, but certainly you can live in it. Siskiyou Street, which is a little county. There's a county called Siskiyou up here in Northern California. And you can tell there ain't really a lot of pines here, you know, even though we're 4,000 feet up in the air. Um, this is supposedly, if I got this right, I think this is a desert area for the most part. Mostly we got walnut trees and such here. Come down. Now I'm, I'm patently lost. <laughs> I'll go back and watch my video, see if I can get back somewhere. But eventually I'm going to run into something I'm going to recognize. Because I can't be that lost. Just right. and some of these places are older and not, not the best taken care of, but pretty well taken care of. I'm on Donald's happens when I go down over here. Lots of just big rocks everywhere. There's three or four very huge, large rocks in my backyard that I'm sure that was, that was spat out of Mount Shasta when it exploded. Oh, man, there's a fence there, which means the street may be ending. A little bit of gravel. Where are we? Okay, I guess maybe this is, the, this is as bad as it gets as far as paving concerned here. I recognize the lookout road. Where am I, for God's sakes? <laughs> that is probably the worst I've seen. I remember Upham. I think if I make a left on Upham, I'll probably... Uh, yeah, my house, I'm going to need to get a paint job soon before I look like that. Okay. And there's some unique looks to it. Supposedly up here somewhere there's a house that was supposed to be built like a boat. Aha! Oregon Avenue. Now, ah, this is right. Okay. So this is where the artery, where I start to go downtown. Radio station we saw before. When I was a kid, I would probably hop over that fence and hang out in the river and see where it went for a day. Time 
time I fell on a canal in Bend, Oregon, and got, I got upset. It's mosquito infested breeding ground. Just a second look at what I've already shown, I guess. And I guess we're getting redundant, but I, wasn't my point to go back up over uh, to that park area? Yeah, but I can't turn around, so that's what I'm going to do. I guess that means I'm going to make a left and go back up 11th, all the way back up to where my house is. This is what? Another church. I haven't counted, but I, there's got to be more than five, at least. Okay, United Methodist. Here's High Street. Here's Safeway. I could have made a left over there on High, but I'd rather just go make a left over here. Again, to showcase my little bit, little bit of Georgia heritage in my voice. As I say the word hi, God knows why I picked up on that a little bit, but I'm happy to have that because I've got some family that come out of the South. Here's the Glad Tidings Worship Center, Emmanuel. Again, here's a, maybe here's a better look at the Winnemo Hotel we didn't get a chance to see before. It's a historical hotel, been there a long time. Okay, back up over here. Back, same old thing. So, Klamath Falls originally, from what I know of the history, was originally called Linkville. basically formed because the logging industry is up here and they would use the river to float the logs down the river down to um, the lake the lake was uh, smaller than it is today and um, I guess they had their warehouses there and then they would go into the sawmill at that point and they would uh, ship it off wherever they were taking it to look up Grant Street there there's a cemetery so I'm getting a better feel for the town, too. So let's see what else we got. People walking down the street. Well, it happens a lot of time to get out of our way, so that way. Okay. Um, there's a unique house. It's almost unnoticeable. Right, right there. Okay, I was going to head over to that park area because I had never been there during the day. And I've been there at night for Christmas show. They're big on the Oregon Ducks. I like their college football here. Uh, I don't even know if there's a... Is there a pro team? I don't think they have a pro team in Portland. The only place they would have... Most of the population of Oregon is centered in Portland. So, you know, you're not going <laughs> to... Um, now, as far as I'm concerned, while well, I'm killing time here, going back down the street, it came up on... If I really had my way, I'd like to see 97 turned into an interstate. By no means is there any traffic to justify it. Um, but I do notice that everywhere in this state where, the, where, where housing is of a significantly higher price, you know, now that I have a place here, here's my place, um, is near an interstate. Oregon uh, has a unique geography that um, you got the coast, and then there was a set of uh, Cascade Mountains on the, there's only a small sliver of land between the coast and the Cascade Mountains, where I think I'm looking at up here, or a range, getting anywhere from large mountains to a hill. It kind of cuts that part of Oregon off from every other part. But I-5 kind of runs up on the other side of those mountains. That's really the only interstate that has of any use to the, the entirety of the state of Oregon. There's one that passes through, and I think that is mm, maybe Interstate 90. Maybe Interstate 90. If I, if I 76 or one of those things. I'll bring it back to plug this in. So, 
it, it, it's a little, you know, maybe more people would come if they had an interstate running up and down in place of 97. I would want that interstate in Interstate 7, and it makes no sense that they would change 99 to Interstate 7 when there's the possibility Oregon might want an Interstate 7, and they're not going to have Interstate 7 in California suddenly become Interstate 7 again. Uh, up in Oregon, and this this 97 is to the uh, west. So those are my arguments against calling uh, that freeway they're changing 99 into up there near Fresno. That's my argument against it being seven and it being nine. Uh, you know, Christians like number seven, you know, biblical implications and all that. But if they call Interstate nine, it's going to turn uh, their highway into satanic hex. So, you know, doesn't matter. If we called this nine, it would be an exception on the map. But someday, I imagine this area is going to grow and it's going to happen. And here's a better, I guess, a better look at the lake here. And some of the drive over to Medford looks like that. Oh, this is not the drive. Now, let's get up here. I think on the left here is where they had, yeah, this is where we parked, where that little shack is, is where they had that, um, Christmas lights thing. We walked up and down this road. I don't even know what this is. Okay, Moore Park. Am I allowed to go up this thing? See, I was expecting to uh, let me go. Okay. Um, welcome to Moore Park, see Clement Falls. And I don't know, this may have been some person's home. Kind of like Brand Park in Glendale. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. it. Seems like it with the gated entrance there and the cul-de-sac we got going on. That's what I gather. Lots of space to play in. Again, from where I'm at, I ain't too far away. I guess if I live down near Fred Meyer, this may be a little bit too far to want to go to. Now, I would, here's a little gingerbread house. I remember going in here. A little gift shop they had during Christmas, I guess. And I guess, it looks like I might get stuck once I make a left here. And yeah, we went in there and we bought some hand warmers. Here's some pine. I expected more of that now during town, but I guess maybe it's all been logged away. And hopefully... This isn't going to be too dangerous to go driving on. So I don't know. Maybe whoever more was lived up there. I, you know, again, I wish I knew more about. And these are all these these large rocks. They, you know, if someone had the capability to, to sledgehammer those in half, they would picnic area down there. They probably, you know, they'd use it for decorative walls, and they have. Now this I'd expect to see a little more birding activity, but of course we're getting toward that. I hope this turns around, because I don't want to go end up in the boonies and not have a way to make a freaking left turn or U-turn. Okay, left turn won't do it. That's what I want to see. Let's park here. There are not a lot of people. Not a lot of people. <laughs> play with a nice, nice little area, you know, you can go a little hiking, you could do, you yeah, know, it reminds me a lot of Grand Park. Well, only thing, uh, the streets don't go off, go up off in the trails there. <laughs> Thick bush area here. People go biking here. Right, watch you're going. Good. All right. Soccer fields. Well, today wouldn't be a bad day for them to be out, but you know today's Monday, of course. Damn, I'm gonna be driving back. Stop just a little bit, get close to the end here. I don't go over. 